Hello and welcome to the next update of Moonscraper. The next update was going to be V1.4, but not all the drums features that I wanted to have in for that update are complete, so... And we also want to get people onto this build as soon as possible for various reasons. Well, I wanted to release this build as soon as possible for various reasons. One of those reasons being Linux. Yes, there's been Linux support added. Uh, credit to BM Walters on GitHub for that. That's been really helpful. He's also apparently working on Mac as well, so... Uh, I don't know when that will be ready, but mm, apparently it's coming. Um, so yeah, uh, the Linux builds have been tested slightly. Um, but yeah, all the core Linux things that could go wrong should be fine. Um, anything else that could does go wrong will probably be wrong on Windows as well, but yeah. Um, so the main new thing, for apart from that, main new thing is there has been work on drums. So we've got this Pro Drums, we can toggle between Standard and as well as 4 lane, 5 lane. Uh, which contains symbols. Uh, so, yep. Oops. There we go. Uh, so, one important thing to note about symbols is that Clone Hero does not support uh, symbols loading from chart files. Moonscraper does save the symbols to the chart file. Uh, and so, if you tried, if as of recording this, if you try to load that into that chart file into Clone Hero, uh, it will result in it being a bad song because it doesn't recognize the symbols yet. Um, they are working on getting that in. I'm not providing an estimate for that. But if you want to test um, program stuff, and I think it's possible, I don't know if it's in an official release or not, but Clone Hero, at least the test build, supports loading symbols from MIDI files. So if you uh, want to test that, just simply use the exporter, export to mid, you'll be good from there. Um, another thing to note is about uh, four lane, we, the, there's been a change to four lane, so if you write a note into five lane and then you switch over to four lane, you'll get this tap note. Um, that's just to tell you that this note is coming from five lane, since um, that's how Clone Hero, Clone Hero will read it. Um, so, Clone Hero, if there's not, not a note already in the fourth lane, it will push the notes from the higher lanes in. Uh, and so if you just have a note like that, then then it'll just be the four lane standard thing. Uh, but yeah, if you see random tap notes, it means random tap notes in four lane. It means there is a fifth lane note there, and we are just notifying you that there. So no need to freak out if you see a random tap note in there, just... If it's un in there, it's if, it, if it's there unintentionally, just delete it. Click it, delete it. Because um, there was a bug where somehow on four lane people were riding into five lanes. Still don't know how people were doing that, but apparently this should let you know that something's gone wrong with it anyway. Uh, next thing, next major thing is we've actually got an update checkup, which is why another reason why I want people on this build. Um, so that when 1.4 is ready, this update checker will come around and next time you boot up, um, it'll do a background check, let you know and provide an instant download link instead of having to check YouTube for the announcement video or anything like that. Um, so that way we can keep people moving on to the updates much more regularly and so I, so I don't have to wait for months at this point to keep on releasing builds. Um, some other things have been added to the settings, so a time-based step is now implemented as well, so you can do time-based, so if you're working on a song that has a lot of BPM changes, sometimes the step can be really inconsistent, and so time-based just allows you to unify that all out. Uh, there's also a graphics menu, so for people on lower-end hardware, uh, if you want Moonscrape to r run better, just turn the anti-aliasing down, that's one of the big sort of hogs on the GPU side of things. Um, you can turn that off. Everything will look worse, especially the waveform. The waveform uh, does look much worse when anti-aliasing is disabled, but for the sake of actual fun actually functioning, then yeah, it should work as all good. Okay, uh, and last thing I want to mention, as in for major new things, is uh, custom resources. So previously we were fixed in terms of the animations. Um, so I think cap notes only had like eight sprites worth of animation and some notes were only worth, well star power notes were eight frames of animation and then just standard notes were only one frame. Uh, now any note can be as any amount of animations as possible. Um, 
So if you just create a sprite sheet from left to right, top to bottom, as the sprite sheets already are for a lot of the notes, uh, but you just extend it a bit more. Um, and then, yeah, you can create variable size animations. Uh, there will be a limit. I'm not sure what the limit is, but if you uh, create like a 10,000 frame animation, then yeah, it probably won't load it in, but don't do that. I don't know why people, if that does affect you, it's going to affect very, very few amount of people, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, you've also got beat lines added in there because some people wanted um, to, since these are a bit like subtle, like that one's slightly thicker than that one, um, then yeah, just to, just to highlight some of the things, some of the beat lines a bit better, you can use that. And yeah, so a ton of fixes, just stability fixes, there's some like automatic undoing and some performance, um, and a lot of performance increases have been, are in this build as well. Uh, so yeah, ch check the changelog for full, uh, full details as per normal, and I will see you on the next update, which will hopefully be when the new drums, drums is fully complete, and for that there will be double kick. So double kick is the main thing I'm looking to implement um, when we get to 1.4. Got a prototype working, but like still got work to do on that. Uh, but yeah, double kick is coming. Just not yet. So yeah, see you then.